We've known each other for a long time, long time. And he is an artist and really a historian and a healer in his own right, Mr. Ajay. Good thanks. Yes. And, you know, I want each of you to even introduce yourself a little bit more about the work that you do and why you've chosen to do it. So we'll start with you. Yeah, um, well, let me say I'm a poet. I'm a poet and I use the word to fundamentally educate. Uh, my role as a poet is really to educate. Um, entertain, yes, because I'm a, I'm a performance poet and I perform the show. Entertainment is there, so it's call it edutainment. But the primary thing is to bring focus to issues that some people like to forget. So in my, if you go through the bottom of my word, you will see issues like it's just pertaining to child abuse, violence against women, poverty, war, um, the impact of slavery and, colonial, and colonialism, and the presence of, of, of colonialism. Still today, as it affecting us, um, I just referring to the, 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 the discussion prior to, prior to this and the role of the media, the role of film, mm -hmm. the role of healing, and, and, and the need to heal, and the fact too that talking about that we are carrying generational issues within ourselves um, and that is primary to a lot of my work in terms of the post-slavery, the trauma of slavery as it impacts today. Mm -hmm. So when we're dealing with today, we, we are really dealing with, with a lot to do with the past, yeah. with issues taking place in generations yeah. that you are reenacting in your daily lives. And you have to deal with these issues. So my poetry is to deal with those issues. Um, and therefore, as a musician, you're creating this space as well. Because the space of what you choose as the medium to carry your poetry also have to refer to your root, the heritage of history. Mm -hmm. And we, within the Caribbean society, um, our ancestors came across as, as musicians, as poets, as, 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 as architects, as, as so many things, as teachers and, and so on, and they were enslaved. Mm -hmm. They were not slaves. They, they did not come across as slaves. They came across as these professionals um, and were enslaved in our society. And these societies were shaped, everyone, from Montserrat to Trinidad to Sinclair to Barbados, they were shaped to benefit not those who came across the Middle Passage, but to benefit those who were the colonizers who were, the, you know. And these are not stories of the past. These are stories of today. Yes. Because when you look at the society today, when you look at the situation where there's a lack of identity, where there, there, where there is generations of young people who don't have a clue who they are, they don't even know the history, and, and they just feel that society just drop out, just like that with no trace. If you trace our societies, they trace back to the trauma, to terrorism, to, to the violence that unleashed on our great, great, great grandparents, mm -hmm. that that trauma hasn't disappeared, that yeah. trauma is within us, yeah. right? And we haven't dealt with it yet. The Caribbean societies have started to heal. There's no, you can't point to one, one, one um, political structure or program where they say, let's start to deal with trauma of slavery. But we had this independence, all of us had this independence, which is a false independence, but the independence itself never dealt with reforming, restructuring, mm -hmm. dismantling the old colonial structures, mm -hmm. not only physically, but in our minds and our heads, mm -hmm. right, to deal with the current situation. So we have right now, as I said, a, a, a generation of young Caribbean people who don't have a clue who they are. Yeah because they were never taught. So my work tried to deal with all these issues and a lot to take on, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I'm glad that, 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 that and, and, and just let me touch on our film. Um, the, the film there for Caribbean film has to deal with that. Caribbean film in terms of what it has to do, has to deal with these issues. And I have to decide, are you going to be the, the, the you're going to Hollywood trend or just entertainment, mm -hmm. excitement, get people all of a sudden blockbuster, uh, and then you don't really deal with the, 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 the issues. So in terms of determining what you're going to do, 
just like how oh, a poet determined, I am going to write this sort of poetry, and this is what I'm going to do, the content of my work. Mm -hmm. I think film, Caribbean film, has to understand that because they owe it to the society itself yeah. to do it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. there's a lot more you can say about it. Yeah. I don't want the mic to Ajay because as you were talking about kind of that which pushes you forward, mm -hmm. I know you have a special affinity and acknowledgement for the ancestors. Mm -hmm and the role that they play in our lives. And so I'm thinking about that in the art that we choose, whether it's poetry, song, film, and even in our everyday life. You think that sometimes life chooses for you, mm -hmm. and, and, and you have your own plan, but there's another plan, right? That, that is, is beyond um, your needs, because sometimes we are limited in terms of what we want to do from a physical point of view, um, meaning your own aspirations, and your aspirations fed really and truly from your ego, or it could be fed from um, the education which tells you you've got to be this particular person or because of what impact is going to make and how good it's going to look for the family um, and, and should not place on the pressure and determine, and the life is determined for them because of that. Mm -hmm. But as I said, this. There's, a, there's another side of you, and in fact, one of the questions, well, the talk prior to this, right? Um, sometimes you put limitations to yourself because you only see so far because of what was told to you. And don't realize that you are not really a, just a physical being, but you are a spiritual being. And therefore, if you're a spiritual being, there's no limitations to you yes. as a, a person. And therefore, I think there's a, a question when, when you say that you don't know why a person go to drugs in fact mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. because the father denied him or something like that at all. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have awareness of who you are, awareness of yourself, situations like that would therefore impact upon you because you limit yourself to just this physical image that you see yes. in in the mirror. But you're much more than that. You you, you are endless you, 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 you there's no there's, there's no beginning or end to you as a spiritual being because you say the religion say you are in the image of God, but yet you say you are in the image of God, but then you still put a, a, a finite end to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know. So when you have that awareness of I am boundless, I'm, I'm spirit. I, there's nothing that can stop me. There's no physical obstacle place on the road can stop me from moving forward. If you go through life with that, with with that perspective. Yeah. There's nothing can stop you. Yeah. There's, there's, there's nothing nobody can say to stop you. There's nothing that can be put in your path that can stop you. Mm -hmm. So then it comes back then to understand that you are not just this physical being. You are part of your mother or your grandfather or grandmother that died. Mm -hmm. You are part of great 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 parents that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. You are different part of a community of people and they are holding you up. They are they want to talk to you and want to hear and educate you in terms of where you go. When you understand that dynamic, you know how the magnitude of life that you have as, as a person. And you see yourself therefore not as this one individual that yes. wants to be a doctor or a lawyer, that wants a degree or want a master's or something. You see yourself therefore in a way. Community, that, that changes the whole dynamic of Definitely. life. And it brings bring the ancestors into play. And you know, some people say, Mom, you don't have nothing to do with my thing, they, 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 they didn't go along. But if you get sick, and you go to the doctor, the first thing you don't have to have anybody in your family <laughs> have a heart attack. And if you dare say yes, he puts a red mark by you. And he starts to tell you who, who, your, your grandmother, your, your great grandmother, who had your, who died from a heart attack, who had high blood pressure, because that DNA is traveling in you from a hundred years. So therefore, the trauma. Of, of, of whatever impact that your great grandpa had 200 years is still traveling within you right. and you are not dealing with it because you don't even recognize them and, and that is where our, our, our African tradition has left us because of colonialism. We always thought about, we always give thanks to them because you are a, 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 song, a, a, a writer. Yes, and I love that. In fact, to me, that's a brilliant story within itself. Mm -hmm. The dynamic of how you started to write yeah. and what you have. That is a movie. Mm -hmm. exactly. That yeah. is exactly. a movie. But, 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 but I, I'm saying that to say, I'm sure if you go back 200 years, the sun 
one of your, your great 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 grandmother may have made a story a real right and, and, and that, 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 that gene that building block genetic yes. block is in you and, and that spirit that because energy everything is energy that energy is, is, has tra transferred to you so you have to give thanks now to that family that you don't even know that is there that is with you that is lying for you to say hi Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, so, it's, so my work and me as a person, I'm, I'm now dealing a lot with, with, with that, with recognizing. And, and like, in, in fact, when you see my, if you get a chance to see the documentary, there's a well-performing life with livers, I think it's livers on. I ask everyone in the audience mm -hmm. to just call out the names mm -hmm. of all the ancestors to know that type. Well, you know what? I think we're going to do that. Call out the names. It, 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 yeah. I tell you, you can do it. You could call them out if you want yeah. to do it silently, but for one moment you see everybody hold hands, yes. the whole audience, and I tell them, just recognize your ancestors, your biological ancestors. You know what? We're going to close out the show doing that today. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. We're going to close out the show doing that. It's interesting. It makes a difference. It empowers you at another level. Let's take a quick commercial break, and then when we come back, as I know you have something to say. <laughs> We'll be back in a moment with Dr. Walls and friends.